What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, answering your questions that you gave in the Q&A. And be sure to ask more questions down below because I plan to do a part two of this. But make sure you listen to all the questions I answered today so you don't end up asking something that I answered today. I'm saying answer today a lot. But anyways, let's start things off with the users who wish to remain anonymous. I said in the last video to send questions to youtube.com slash messages if you wanted to remain anonymous, so here are the anonymous questions. Why is it going to take until February for season two? Ooh, this is a good one. He was, whoever this was, this was smart. He waited until after the update to ask his question. That's, that's pretty genius. But anyways, the reason why it's gonna take so long for season two to get here is because I'm working on a new series. It has nothing to do with fictional fights or anything. It's just another series uh, show to go on my channel, and I promise you're all gonna like it. It's gonna be really fun to make and really fun to watch. So just stay tuned. All right, next question. Will fictional fights ever have a show like One Minute Melee or DBX? I can already give you an answer to that one right away. Uh, no. <laughs> The reason why is because the animators who come to fictional fights, they come volunteering, asking if they could do a fight for my show, and I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And I always feel so guilty because I'm not big enough, like, Animation Rewind or Screwtech, so I can't really give them much in return. So, I, I don't think my guilt could handle just putting their animations up here without a whole analysis and results to go with it. Like, if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna use their animations, I wanna actually, like, make sure I have my own work in there too, instead of just going, hey, look, it's their animation on my channel. Ha ha, watch me. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I, there's no way I could do that. That would be very disrespectful to the animators. So, until I get to the point where I'm where I'm as big as Animation Rewind and Screwtech and can afford these animators, then there's not gonna be like a one minute melee or DBX like show for fictional fights. I'm already so unbelievably grateful enough that they were kind enough to volunteer, so there's no way I could ever ask them to do just like free animations with absolutely nothing to go with them. So only if there's an analysis and stuff, then yeah. Ooh, that was a good question. Jeez, I have two more from this user. The second one is, who's on the research team? My answer is everyone. I have people on the community send me stuff. I have people on Twitter send me stuff. Like, a couple days before Zim vs. Camaro went up, someone sent me a Zim moon feat from, like, the comics or something that I completely missed. But luckily, Zim still won, so it's not like it was incorrect. But, yeah, I still missed that feat somehow. <laughs> I mean, I read through the comics, but I didn't notice that. I, was a pe I wasn't paying much attention, apparently. But yeah, everyone sends me research, and I don't have like a specific team because I don't want to shun anyone else's research from being put in. Mmm, this user's got some good questions. <laughs> Take up the whole Q&A, why don't you? Third question. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. this one's a bit off topic. What do I look for in a girl? Is this question possibly from a secret admirer? <laughs> I am single. <laughs> I'm trying to make this quick since it's not related to fictional fights, but it is an interesting question to say the least. Um, well, I am a Christian, so that's obviously like the most important factor. Um, a girl I'm looking for obviously must share the same beliefs as me, so that's that's a pretty big deal. But other than that, I guess maybe someone who shares the same interests in me, someone who's funny, you know, someone who I have stuff to talk of, talk with about. Talk, talk to about with talk with talk about stuff with I can't words so basically just a girl who shares common interests so we can talk about stuff together oh my gosh almost four minutes taken up by that user such good questions all right moving on how many episodes of fictional fights are you planning a lot I have no idea just whenever I run out of ideas or lose interest in the show I mean if my heart's not in it anymore then the show's obviously going to drop in quality and I don't I'd rather end the show before a drop in quality hits. So I guess just whenever I lose interest or whenever I run out of ideas. But that doesn't mean I can't return to it if I regain the passion. So I guess in a sense it could go on forever, just with little breaks scattered out here and there. What is my most favorite cartoon fight club battle? All the ones where Jin destroys Ryu. <laughs> in all seriousness though, I really like it when he does like actual real battles and not just meme stuff like Kratos versus Hercules. I thought that was really interesting how he pulled out that crazy Hercules calculation. <laughs> when AR gets serious, he can really do some good battles. It's just the meme ones that kind of get on my nerves. Am I biased towards some of my own matchups? I don't get the context of this question like, am I biased towards people who won or just like the entire matchups in general? 
or something. I, I really don't understand this question. But I did make a video a while ago at the beginning of this month um, that were fictional fights episodes that would have been different if I let bias decide the outcome. So feel free to check that out if you want to see which fights would be different if I did determine the victor based on my own personal bias. Woo! It took five minutes to get through the anonymous questions. Those were good. All right, now on to the comments section. Misfortune Darkrai asks, would I ever do a remastered episode for fictional fights, like Samus vs. Boba Fett for uh, Death Battle and Wario vs. Knuckles for Cartoon Fight Club? I'd definitely like to go back and uh, do the old episodes that didn't have any animations and stuff, but they would have to be like special episodes on the side, because I would not let them interrupt the regular schedule, because you guys want new fights, new research and all that. You don't want to see like a rehash of an old thing that's slightly polished, so... If I do uh, do a remastered version of an episode, it will be on the side as, as a sort of special little project. Number two, are hand-drawn fights like Saitama vs. Goku, Steven vs. Dipper, and Zim vs. Kero going to happen in the future? I mean, I will if they're absolutely necessary. Like, if I really can't find any way to get an animation for the episode, then I, I'll have to resort to it. But I really don't want to because I'm not the best artist and they look bad. <laughs> Question number three. Since I admitted that Saitama uh, vs. Goku and Steven vs. Dipper are both wrong, are the winners of those fights considered losers now, and can they return? Yes, they both can return, and the losers of both those fights are now named winners, so all four of the people in those fights can return. Ethan Mason asks, Why do Fox vs. Buzz? Well, they're both laser-wielding heroes who lead teams of four in a space military type group. Yeah, they do have a lot in common, actually. I just didn't know Buzz was gonna be so freaking OP. Second question, why am I doing a battle royale? For those who don't know, I'm doing a GTA 5 battle royale between Franklin Clinton, uh, Michael DeSanta, and Trevor Phillips. And the reason why is, I don't know, GTA 5 hype. I really got into it recently, <laughs> even though the game's like two years old. But it's a really fun game, and I, I got really invested in the characters, and that one's, like, impossible to be biased because they're all from the same series. So I can give in to hype. Yay! So yeah, that's why it's happening. Hype. Question number three. Can I do Iggy Koopa versus Zaz? I said no fight suggestions in the rules. I don't even know who Zaz is. Ah! Christian Camden asks, Who is my favorite character in Super Smash Bros.? It is either a tie between Little Mac, Ryu, and Bayonetta. It's like a three-way tie. No, it's a four-way tie. Little Mac, Ryu, Bayonetta, and Pac-Man. I can't choose. They're all so good. <laughs> Question number two. Which company do I like more, Nintendo or Sega? Definitely Nintendo. The only thing I like from Sega is Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> I love Super Monkey Ball. It was like a huge childhood game, but sadly that's not enough. That's not quite enough to bring the whole company above Nintendo. <laughs> I love Mario. I love Kirby. I love Zelda. I love uh, Pokemon. You know, all that stuff. Not a huge fan of Waifu Simulator. I mean, Fire Emblem, but eh, I'm sure it's good for what it is. Question number three. Why am I a Jack Frost with glasses? Because I'm an albino. You insensitive little prick! Gumball, aka Jimmy Neutron, asks, Is Shrek awesome? Of course! Question number two. My favorite versus fight in any versus show ever. Definitely Solid Snake versus Sam Fisher from Death Battle. It was such a masterpiece. The, t in my opinion, that was Torian's best animation. And I'm not gonna lie, I cried while watching it. Ender Netherfox asks, Why did I start my own versus show? Uh -huh. Question number two. Have I ever thought of improving old episodes? <laughs> Randy Bum Nuggets. How do I decide which suggested fights to do that are given to me by fans on the community? Well, if it looks interesting, I'll do it. Uh, actually, the community is the one who suggested me to do Scout vs. Tracer. Like, I was on Tracer hype, and I was like, Guys, Tracer is the ultimate waifu. Who should she fight? And everyone's like, Scout, Scout, Scout! So yeah, they decided that matchup. I mean, season one, for the most part, was full of fights that I wanted to do, but for season two, I'm definitely looking for more community-voted fights. So if you have any fights, be sure to suggest them on my Fictional Fights community. Not in the comments section of videos, because I will not pay attention to those. SpongeBob vs. Pinkie Pie, whoever keeps commenting that. No, I will not do that. That is a stupid matchup. <laughs> Number two, is it possible for a loser of Fictional Fights to return if I admitted their fight was wrong? Yes. I already answered that earlier, but yes. 
Question number three. Will I ever commemorate Shark Tale's 12th anniversary in a video? Does this answer your question? Shark Tale. Oh, Shark Tale. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Swagdu24 asks, what's the weirdest fictional fight I've ever done? Buzz vs. Fox. That was weird. <laughs> and probably Elsa vs. Katara, because Elsa doesn't even fight. <laughs> that was a terrible episode. Number two. Favorite video game. Tekken 3 or 5, possibly. Number three. Favorite Spongebob game. I have not played any Spongebob games. The Thundernado asks... Okay, that's a cool name, by the way. But anyways, The Thundernado asks... Do I run the show myself? And if I do, is it hard? Yes, I run it myself, and no, it is not hard. All you gotta do is watch a bunch of TV shows and play some video games to get research. I mean, yeah, you do have to look up the occasional calculation or wiki article, but those only take up, like, maybe an hour or two at the most. And I'm generally a fast worker, so I can get an entire episode edited in a single day if I have all the stuff I need. So yeah, it's pretty time-consuming, but not hard. Brandon Mitchell asks, what was the best episode I made? So far, my favorite and what I think the best episode is Roshi vs. Jiraiya, but that might just be Naruto bias. Jiraiya is just such a favorite of mine, and the animation by Alex303 was really good, so I just really like that episode. Two, who is my favorite Tekken character? Do you even have to ask? It's Jin. Three, how long does it take to research a character? Honestly, it depends on how long their series is. I normally have a lot of free time, so I can binge a lot of stuff, but if a character has something insanely long, like the Sergeant Frog manga or Naruto, it can take quite a while. But most of the time I already know lots of stuff about the characters I use, and one character doesn't take too long. Joe Chapman asks, Do I know when the next episode of Just Another Crossover Fighting Show is coming out, and am I still voicing one of the characters on it? Yes, I am the voice of facts on that show, and no, I do not know the exact date of when the episode is coming out, but hopefully it'll be sometime soon. I'm really excited for it. The second question, what upcoming fight am I doing that I'm really excited for? Oh, you're trying to sneak peek at future episodes, aren't ya? Uh, well, yeah, I'm not gonna fall for it. <sighs> but I really am excited for the season two premiere. It's it's gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm. Oh my gosh, I'm jumping out of my seat in excitement. Oh my gosh. Cokex84 asks, what's with my channel description? For those who don't know my channel description, it says, wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Save me from this nothing I've become. Yeah, I don't know either. Memes, I guess. Two, what do I think about doing a battle between nigh-omnipotent beings? <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, that's a bit too hard to determine the outcome. I don't think I'll be doing any of those anytime soon. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment yet. <laughs> Ooh. Question number three, am I actually brave? I'd say so. I mean, I'm pretty shy in real life, but I think I'm brave for the most part. Like, I'd totally knock out some dude if he tried to mug me, but I wouldn't be able to hold a conversation with him about how his day went because I'd be shaking the whole time. So yeah, I'm brave, just very anxious. Kind of like Courage the Cowardly Dog, pretty much. Carmine Olivia asks, is Versus Battle Wiki a reliable source because they have weird stats for the characters like Ed the Eds being universal? My answer is that it's a very good source if you want to find feats for the characters, but not so much for stats because they have some really weird rules for like determining the stats. And that pretty much goes for like any versus type wiki. Stats are all up to the researcher's own interpretation. So following another wiki's rules for what they do for stats is not a good idea. So just go there for feats. Second question. What is my idea for a good holiday themed fight? <laughs> oh, one fight I've really been wanting to do for Christmas. Freaking Santa Claus versus Wario. Naughty versus nice, greedy versus generous. It's there. It's a perfect matchup. I want to do it so bad. Oh. Question number three. Since my audience is so small, what's the chance of me doing a lesser requested fight? I mean, I'm not sure. I'll do any fight that sounds interesting. Just not Pinkie Pie versus SpongeBob. Whoever keeps commenting that, I will not do that one. So please stop asking. Caleb's animation asks, would I rather be as strong as Superman or as fast as the Flash? Eh, definitely Flash, because then I could get to all my internet friends across the country and world and give them all hugs. Yay! Two, what does it take to be a fictional fights animator? I don't have very high standards, I'm just 
grateful that people are willing to volunteer and put in the time and effort to create these awesome animations. My only standard is that they have to at least be better than mine, which is not very hard to do. <laughs> I mean, just look at Jin versus Ryu or Krillin versus Hayachi. Those were done by me and they look terrible. So as long as you're better than that, you're golden. Three, DC versus Marvel. Definitely Marvel. I love me the Spider-Mans and the Captain Americas and the Thors and the Iron Mans and the Hulks and so much better. The only DC guys I know are like, oh, there's Superman, Batman, and Flash, and... But I could name off like so many Marvel characters that I love, so definitely Marvel. All right, we're about to get to the last question here, so remember, if you have any more questions, just ask in the comments section below and I'll be doing a part two of this. All right, so Maxwell Johnson asks, when will the next OC fights be? That's a very good question. Well, surprise, surprise, because the next OC fight will be... 